Wait, do I go this way? Ooh, okay. It's a cool elevator. What is this? So this is the underground harbor. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my god. The Grey Lady. The Grey Lady? I'd say hello, but she doesn't seem particularly social. They're dancing on the water. Revelio. Okay, located deep beneath the viaduct courtyard is a landing for boats delivering first year students across the black lake to Hogwarts. That is so cool. I didn't realize that this is where they came. I don't have enough space for that one. Finally, be safe since we rescued the dragon from Hauntel Hall. Oh, look, he's cleaning. The book Professor Weasley asked me to find should be around here somewhere. Revelio, looking for the book Intermediate Transfiguration. Professor Weasley asked me to, uh, get something from that book. May I have it? Did she now? I'll give you this book if you humor me by answering a few questions from my quiz. Oh, uh, she's Ravenclaw. People call bits of knowledge <laughs> trivia. I would okay, argue that no knowledge is trivial. Hence, I have created a small quiz just for fun, focusing mainly on the lore of the wizarding world. None of the other students will try it no matter how many times I ask. They all say they have enough with schoolwork. Ugh. They don't value knowledge the way I do. Surely you're interested. I'll even start you off with a few of my easiest questions. A quiz sounds like fun. Splendid! Just a few questions and then I'll hand over this book. Let us begin. Before the invention of the Golden Snitch, which magical creature was used in a game of Quidditch? Okay. With Golden Snidget. The Golden Snidget. Correct! The Snidget was first introduced to Quidditch in 1269 by a wizard named Barbarous Bragg. Sadly, they're thought to be extinct. Next question! Which potion is commonly referred to as liquid luck? Easy. Felix Felicis. Well done! Since it makes the drinker temporarily lucky, Felix Felicis is a banned substance in all organized competitions. The tale of the three brothers involves which magical artifacts? The Deathly Hallows. Correct. According to Beedle the Bard, the Deathly Hallows consists of the Elder Wand, the Resurrection Stone, and the Cloak of Invisibility. Which ball in Quidditch is the largest? 
the quaffle. That's right. When a chaser throws the quaffle through one of three hoops in a Quidditch match, their team is awarded 10 points. True or false, Polyjuice Potion allows the drinker to change species. Species. I don't know, Hermione turned into a cat that one time, but that was the only time I've ever seen that. Well, no, because you still, you're still human no matter what. False. Correct. While Polyjuice Potion can be used to change things such as age or race, it cannot be used to change species. Well, I suppose this has gone on long enough. I'll put the book back on the pedestal now. If you're inclined to test your knowledge again, I have plenty more questions I could ask you. And I won't be giving you any more easy questions either. The next ones will be more difficult. Okay. I don't have time for a quiz at the moment. Let me know if you change your mind. I put the book back on the pedestal for you. Avelio ought to make quick work of this. Okay, book on intermediate transfiguration. This book is designed to help guide the student who wishes to pursue more complicated types of transfiguration. Professor Weasley often recommends it to her advanced students as a bit of light reading. Light reading? Professor Weasley's tasks are complete. I should attend transfiguration. <laughs> okay, real quick. Let's check out here. Okay, I see. These are really good outfits. I think we'll probably sell them. I'm all out of the new socks, so if your feet are smelly, you'll have to work it out for yourself. Okay, let's sell some stuff. Oh, that's unidentified. You have a sharp eye for fashion.
Ooh, don't fall, don't fall. So this is the underground harbour. So cool. Settle down, settle down. Transfiguration, as you may be weary of hearing me say, is an exact science that can take a lifetime to master. But we needn't be daunted. Almost anything can be transformed if you can just perceive the potential within it. As I see in all of you, tremendous witches and wizards, every one of you. Or it could just be my eyesight. Now, you all know what to do. I'm so excited. Beautifully done. That's so cool. <laughs>
You wanted to discuss my progress so far this term, Professor. I did. You seem to have had no trouble in getting up to speed. And frankly, excelling in your schoolwork this year. Thank you, Professor. The extra assignments have been helpful. As I suspected they would be. Now, it seems you've been making good use of the opportunities presented by your field guide. Of course, the guide isn't the only measure of success. I've heard that you were able to grow a venomous tentacular. Growing such a magical plant is an accomplishment of which you can be quite proud. Thank you, Professor. I will say I'm especially impressed with all you've accomplished in light of the rumors of your extracurricular activities. Was your visit to the kitchens and the Hogsmeade graveyard with Nick to bribe a ghost for information connected in any way to Professor Fig? Not at all. I'm fascinated by ghosts and, uh, food, and I was interested in learning more about the castle and the surrounding area. I see. I admire your penchant for learning, but do remember that your classwork and field guide are designed to educate you thoroughly. It'll be the end of the year in no time, and you'll want to be well prepared for your OWLs. I'll provide a final assessment at that time to ensure that you're ready for your exams. Until then, well done. You are dismissed. I wonder if we'll actually have to take owls. Look, he's a barrel! <laughs> I am gonna have so much fun with this. Something dawned on me about the triptych. Meet me at the Overlook, just north of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll explain. My plan with the helmet failed, but I have another idea. I think we may be able to find what we need at a goblin mine south of Hogwarts. Meet me there and bring someone who... Okay. okay, let's go chat with Sebastian. Go find Sebastian. If only a new student were to help me with that entrance is so cool. You'll never believe what I've learned. What did you discover in the spellbook we found in the scriptorium? Salazar Slytherin's spellbook was a little difficult to interpret, but fascinating. Evidently, he encouraged teaching dark magic at Hogwarts. Neither the Imperious Curse nor the Killing Curse was unforgivable during. He believed students should be prepared to use dark magic when necessary, not to fear it. That's why we had to use Crucio to gain access to the Scriptorium. He didn't want his knowledge shared with anyone who was afraid of the power of dark magic. It was hard to do, but casting Crucio was our only option. And I'm glad we did it, because in the spellbook I also found something else. References to a lost relic, which, from what I can tell, grants the holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. And you think this relic might be able to save Anne? Precisely. I plan to search for this relic, but I don't think we should tell anyone. Especially Ominous. He wouldn't understand. Damn, I don't know. I won't tell. I see no reason to involve Ominous. I'm glad you agree. When I know more, I shall send an owl. And don't feel sorry for Ominous. Keeping this to ourselves for now is for his own good. I'll decide what's for my own good. Ominous, we were just about to get some air. Care to join? You're a liar, Sebastian. I heard everything. You swore you'd never engage in anything to do with dark magic again. No, I didn't. I said I understood you wanting that. I'd never swear to give up on finding a cure for Anne. You don't know when to stop, do you? 
I know when not to stop. Leave this alone, Ominous. I'll be on my way. Damn. I am not letting this go. Ominous, Sebastian meant well. I know what I heard. You knew I wouldn't agree with this. Going after that relic is not a good idea. Sebastian doesn't even realize it, but he's as irresponsible and reckless now as his parents were years ago. It's why they died. I knew his parents died, but I never heard what happened. Mr. and Mrs. Sallow were professors. Spent nearly every waking moment in the cellar library. Nose is buried in books. Anne and Sebastian were upstairs when it happened. They heard a sudden crash and ran downstairs, but it was too late. Their parents had crumpled to the floor. A defect with the lamp in the cellar caused the room to fill with an undetectable toxin. Sebastian and Anne were helpless. They had no magic yet. What a horrible story. It is. That's why I can't understand Sebastian's recklessness. I've practically lost Anne. I cannot lose Sebastian too. Please avoid anything to do with that spell book. I don't know what to say. Because it is giving him hope, but I don't know if it's good. Some references Sebastian mentioned in the book do worry me. I'm glad you understand. I hope Sebastian pursues this no further. But if you think he might, please let me know. It would mean a lot. So bad. fair in a little place like this. Anne is getting worse. If there is any chance that the relic from Slytherin's spellbook can help her, I must find it. I'm requesting your help. Meet me outside of Feldcroft, near the catacomb. Okay, I'm here. I came as soon as I could. I'd been so distracted by the scriptorium and Slytherin's book that I'd almost forgotten what it was that struck me about that triptych. This is the view painted on the canvas that was left on it. That's incredible. You know this area well. And while I was waiting for you, I scouted around and discovered an abandoned mine nearby, surrounded by Ranrock's loyalists. Do you think there's a connection to the triptych? I've no idea. But perhaps they're searching it, the way they did Brookwood Castle and Isadora's Manor. How do we want to handle this? I mean, why, why not both? Avoid detection, deal with the rose. Can we hide from them though? We'll just fight we need to see what they're doing. I say we take them head on. Let's bury some enemies. Very well. And I still have that rune symbol we found on the triptych. If there is a connection, I suspect we'll see that symbol again. After you. There they are, up ahead. I'll let you lead. Kill anyone who tries. Ranrock's loyalists are out for blood. Thank you. Oh, little moon Yeah. 
Amok's loyalists deserve the same fate. Nice work. going well. We make a good team. We do at that. Once again, we could fight our way through or be discreet. You know which one I'd choose. <laughs> he wants to fight him. Ah, but if you don't fill up so much, you can actually go further. It's true. Eat a big meal, you'll be slowed down, but eat light and you'll be swift. <laughs> but who wants to be swift? <laughs> was relatively fun. tell you. Rumor is this mine was closed long ago due to an infestation of spiders. How nice. Nothing I haven't seen before. That's the spirit. For better or for worse, we're in. Closed after accidents were reported. Now I see why. I don't see any goblins in these webs. Too disgusting for even a spider to prey on. Is awfully high. 
Any ideas? I have ideas, Sebastian. I sure do. give people goosebumps could be the hairy legs or the solar eyes or the venomous fangs or any number of endearing qualities really <laughs> he's right <laughs> okay. smashing should have thought to conjure stairs She'll sleep better tonight. Making quick work of them. Professor Hecate would be proud. She would at that. Ranrock's loyalists have all but declared war. Okay, let's swap this now to Lumos. Lumos. seen a single rune symbol. I think we're going to be a bit distracted from runes for a moment. An unwelcome distraction at that. We have another fight on our hands. Why am I not surprised?
Oh my god. the room. You're not a bad chap for a Slytherin. You Gryffindors don't have a monopoly on bravery, you know. 